In this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to form a Nyko press uh, termination on a cable. I have a piece of 8 inch 7x19 extra flexible cable, and you're going to see that that flexibility is pretty important with this Nyko press sleeve. Uh, I also have a Nyko press sleeve, and you'll notice it's copper, compatible with the galvanized cable that I've got, and I have a thimble. This thimble is used for strain relief on the cable. This is a pretty simple and a fairly inexpensive method of terminating a cable. And uh, we're going to start by slipping the Nyko press sleeve over the cable. Then the cable spins around the thimble. It's a little easier to insert that later. And it slides back through the Nyko press sleeve one more time on the other end. If you want to do a good job of this termination, a nice professional job, you'll also put a little piece of heat shrink tube across there to keep the sharp ends of the cable from, uh, uh, from fraying out once you're done with the joint. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, the heat shrink cable with me, but uh, I think you can figure that one out. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to tighten up the cable around the sleeve, and this takes about four hands to do it. You need to make sure that the sleeve is tight inside the cable, and you need to make sure that cable is showing beyond the end of the Nyko press sleeve. Okay, here, we'll see if we can get a close-up of that. We got a piece of cable showing beyond the Nyko press sleeve. That means we know we're not too far out that way. This, the thimble is inside there, and now we're ready for the actual swager. Okay, we've taken open the swager. It's just like a big bolt cutter, except mm -hmm. instead of a bolt cutting hole, it's got a uh, carefully calibrated size, and the first swage we make is right in the center of the Nyko press sleeve. So we come across here, bring it down, and we've just done our first swage. Now we have a little time to breathe because nothing's going to come loose once we make that first swage. Uh, but it's really not strong enough yet. We need to make three swages before it's strong enough. So the first swage was in the center, the second swage we're going to make will be separate but it'll be off on the edge of the cable. And then last but not least, we're going to make that third swage across the other side. Now, you'll notice that there was a lot of tension applied on the cable. There's a lot of distortion force and compression on that cable when that happened, and it came down really nice and tight over my thimble. By the way, I would have wanted to put that thimble around whatever this was attaching the cable to. It's too late to do that now. Also, you'll see how the cable is starting to fray away here on this end, and that's why it would have been nice to put that heat shrink across the top. This is a completed uh, splice. The only thing we have left to do is check it with our go-no-go -no -go gauge. Okay, and so we want to take this down and verify that it was crimped the proper amount, all three crimps fit within the proper slot on the go no go gauge and so we have a verified complete Nyko press joint and this joint actually would fail the, the cable will fail before this joint fails